So it's the Sunday after the uh, All Toyota Car Show, and I'm just playing with Spike. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to remember your story. Got my fender flare remounted properly all the way um, after our little incident on the road there. Apparently the fender flare is trying to leave the chat. It just started flopping like crazy in the wind here. Um, and then uh, while I was down there and I'm like putting the fender liner, I'm like, man, you know, I really haven't, uh, I haven't cleaned the air filter like since I bought it, I think. I cleaned it when I bought it. I put some new plugs in it and stuff, but really haven't touched it since then and that was over a year ago and um you know it's been down quite a bit of two tracks and dirt roads i'll drop the picture it was ugly a lot of dirt um unbelievable honestly um but i don't have the fender liner in it and uh so that contributed to most of so that. there was a big resonator box deal um right there that round opening was like right here facing that way so all the stuff coming off the back of the tire was getting flung directly into that tube going inside and going right into the air filter or air box so um yeah obvious to see why it was absolutely disgusting wish i'd have done that before i took our trip might have uh let the old truck breathe a little easier but uh anyway um so today i decided i'm gonna pull that resonator I've got a TJM snorkel sitting here. Um, it's still new in the box. I had actually bought it for uh, Whitney's fifth gen Forerunner when we had that. Um, and I don't know if I want to put it on or not, but I'm going to play with it and see. Um, I don't like any of the second gen Tacoma snorkels that i found everything sticks um out of the fender like way up towards the front of the fender um and doesn't uh it doesn't look as clean so this is the tjm snorkel for the fifth gen forerunner which goes kind of up the pillar it has a hook the intake is up there at the windshield Maybe I can make it work. Let's see. All right, so I've been looking at it for a while and I even took the antenna base plate off and then I put it back in the box and then I did a bunch more looking online. I don't know. I mean, I wanna get it sucking clean air. So what the heck, let's punch a hole and drill something. Is this a bad idea? Yes. Am I butchering my truck anyway? Absolutely. Those are some big holes, so. That was the original antenna hole. Obviously the, where the air inlet goes through and then the mounting stud holes for the four mounting studs on the back. Hmm, wish me luck. God, I hope this turns out okay. It looks like our pipe hits this inner structure right here. Um, guess I'm gonna have to trim a little bit, clearance that. Uh, the pipe that goes inside the fender, hopefully we can get to fit. I may have to unbolt the bottom of the fender and pull it out to tuck it up in there or something, but. Oh, hope me, hoping for the best. So I just cut off a tab that was right here um that was for that factory inner air box section i'm not sure i may have to also cut this tab but um so this section goes up in there there's two mounting bolts uh and then the other end that's kind of angled is where it meets up to the snorkel but yeah we gotta uh, figure out the alignment of all this and uh, get it positioned up in there but it looks like i'm above that other bracket so that's cool um yeah hopefully this all works out sometimes the uh biggest rewards come from the greatest risks okay 
So that's just kind of sitting in there. I've pushed the two pipes together. Uh, the intake pipe is, um, inner fender intake pipe is loosely just bolted to the uh, inner wall there where it needs to be. Um, and then the back up in here um, where it angles, they're just slid together. Um, so I need to pop that back apart. I'm gonna put some paint around the edge of all that. I'm not sure um, on my application, obviously with the antenna wouldn't work. So uh, I'm just gonna paint the edge of the bare metal. You're not gonna be able to see it under the snorkel anyway. And I primarily only use Bluetooth through the uh, stereo, so I don't really listen to any local radio. Um, yeah, not not disappointed. Um, hopefully it works out. And my biggest fear is that it will catch tree branches. Hopefully that's not the case. We can get our mounted sturdy enough, but I'm excited. This should be uh, a good solution for uh, keeping all that extra dirt out of that air filter since I don't have that inner liner. Let's keep plugging away, see if we can get her done done. So that pipe is in there. I took some paint pen and just kind of went around all the bare metal. Then I took the 90 degree bracket that um, holds the snorkel up here at the top side. I put tape on the bracket facing towards the paint, put my bolt in it, fitted the snorkel back up here again, um, made sure to open and close the door that I was gonna have adequate clearance with everything. Um, and then stuck the tape down, then pulled my bolt, pulled the snorkel, leaving the bracket in place. Now I can um, pre-drill uh, two little holes there that hold that, anchor that to place, and I'll get that bracket mounted. I'll put the snorkel on hopefully for the last time and uh, get all the fasteners in there. Then we gotta put the intake and stuff back together. Hopefully by then the old k &N air filter will be uh, all uh, dried and ready to put back in. Then you uh, pre-drill your holes to 5 16 And anybody familiar with snowmobiles will see, uh, recognize these little deals. They're a uh, nut in there. It's rubber and as you tighten it, it expands and draws that bracket tight. So you push those in the holes. We'll get this bracket snugged up and uh and we'll get the final fitting of the snorkel all right there's that little tab you do have to make sure you drill through two layers the screws are so long when i tried to tighten them at first i just wanted to push that thing out of the hole so make sure you do drill through two layers your second layer just has to be big enough for the head of the screw so it doesn't have to be the full 5 16 so anyway got that done Let's see if we can fill that big hole. As neat as that looks, unfortunately, some of the fasteners are behind that other pipe. We're gonna have to pull the fender. Dang it. And thanks to my beautiful assistant, I got it bolted up. It, uh, it was a little tricky. Um, I did loosen the top of the fender um, all the way up to the headlight, took all the top bolts out, took the bolt out here, which comes in from the door side, there's a bolt in the middle which comes in from the front side the bottom bolt is rusted and i was afraid i was going to break it so i just kind of left it pulled the fender out was able to get in there get all of my nuts started and washers and uh got it bolted up hooked it up up there and then uh pushed the fender back into place got everything kind of bolted back up so um yeah now uh where i I uh, drilled and bolted the holes for that inner pipe. You can see the new bolt heads there. I gotta get that stuff tightened up and we'll put the air box and stuff back together and uh, see, what, uh, see what she sounds like. Snorkel is on. Ta-da. I am pretty happy with it. So um, does it profile perfectly to the fender? No, not exactly. But it's pretty close it looks really good it looks really good um it does have uh you know a little bit of gap at the top um you know but it fits real tight to that pillar um it clears you know the door um, you can open the door no issues opens and closes it's super solid 
Um, actually rocked the truck with it, crazy enough. Um, yeah, so I'm about to go for my first drive and see how, uh, if it sounds different or anything. Hopefully it doesn't whistle or anything crazy, but I'm about to find out. Okay, so we got the uh, snorkel installed and we're just taking it for our first little trip down the road here and uh, see what we got. say from my driving position there's just a hint of extra blind spot there I wouldn't even call it like half again as big I would say maybe a third again as big as what was originally there um, nothing that I think is obtrusive I think it'll be just fine 